Lily is on her way over, so it'll be good to have her opinion. Dump his ass. That's yeah, my for opinion. Real. Like Emily, leave Brennan. Okay, hi. Hey. Whoa, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta act like you want to be here. She's not a prisoner. This isn't married at first sight <laughs> for us. But you came to the right place if you're gonna watch Married at First Sight with us. Yeah. Yeah, we're watching Married at First Sight together. So, like, subscribe if you want to keep doing this with us. Wow, you hit him with that early. I'm going in. Okay. We usually do reactions to a lot of mostly dating shows at this point. Uh, I I kind of hated watching them most of my life, and then uh, I, well, I loved hate it. You know, I would he watch. He likes to it, pretend he hates it. I do hate. No, I hate these shows, but I also like get into them. Do you know, know what, what would mean? happen though? Is like I would have it on yeah. in the other room. And I would think the whole time, or we'd be in the same room, but he'd be ignoring it. And then I'd be like, okay, I'm going to go in the other room and watch Love is Blind. And he'd be like, no, you can't watch that without me. <laughs> like, yeah, tell me what's going on. I'm, I'm a hater. I'm a hater. And so I enjoy hating is more of what it is than anything. I like but also, shows. I like talking about like the positives and stuff, too. Yeah, you're very communicative about your feelings about the show. I have a lot of feelings. <laughs> Sometimes I can't contain them. I think we should just get into it. This season's a dumpster fire. At this point, I think they're bringing Michael back and he's going to be, I guess... Trying to get married at first sight for the second time. It's such a sham. So one thing I want to say before we get into it is I read that the show being was described as a more mature dating show and uh, a more who? like um, like serious dating show. And it's a joke, man. Like you see the end of season where you find out everybody's been cheating on everybody and uh, they're all hooking up with each other at the end after the show's over. Like nobody takes it seriously. Um, that said, there are some standouts this season and a lot of just like awful. Let's just do it. Yeah, it's like a long episode, so let's just go. Change their lives forever by getting married to strangers sight unseen. Now sight unseen? <laughs> now they're using sight unseen. Is, have they always done that? No, they stole it from Love is Blind. You think they did? I kind of feel like Love is Blind stole their entire concept from married at first sight to be honest they also well yeah because there's that whole like not seeing them and then marrying yeah. them the difference is that love is blind you actually talk to them going to make me stop I don't want to resent you that will happen Emily and Brown are terrible together they're horrible Claire and Cameron on the count of three say you want a divorce oh no or you want to keep trying I honestly respect them oh, no. at I this do point too. They communicated. It, it was funny because at first I was like, their communication is so bad, but in a way they communicated the best. They just didn't like each other enough. Yeah. There wasn't a there wasn't a spark. And tonight, with less than four weeks left until decision day, she is really great with children, and seeing that is very important to me. The our only hope for a successful couple this season is Becca and Austin. Why do you want to do the reset? I really want to like make sure we give her all to like figure this out. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think there was still room for us to grow. Emily, delusional. Her friend that doesn't want to talk shit. We've tried what we thought was in our capabilities and just reached a point where it's like, what do we do? They're going to get a divorce soon. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you're right. It's a chain reaction. Yeah, because Orion was like, I'm done. Yeah. And then they tried their darndest to force him to be in a relationship with Lauren. And he, yeah. and he was like, no. And then now all the other ones are like, wait, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually kind of respect all of these people for one reason, even the ones that I don't like, and that's that they're not letting the producers and the experts convince them to stay in relationships that don't feel healthy for them. Because the success rate of the show is horrific, and a lot of these people just aren't happy. Yeah. And they're like, hey, this is just a piece of paper. I can right. bounce. Yeah. And the producers are like, no, no. And they're like, no, I'm doing it. You know? <laughs> What did I say? I compared it to uh, to jury notification. That's why they never want to let somebody on a jury if they if they know or say anything about it. If you want to get out of a jury duty, say, just say the word jury notification. Um, and uh, it's because like they don't want you to know that you have the power to do whatever you want. Yeah. You know, and that feels like the show. Yeah, the show convinces them they have to stay on. I don't know what their contracts look like, but clearly yeah. they can just leave because Orion yeah. did. Yeah. And now Claire and Cameron are. I think they are, they're almost obligated to stay on the show if the show wants them to, because they still keep coming back to these couples and filming them. Yeah. Forcing them into situations, but like. Can't force them to live together, though. They're going to make Orion and Lauren talk to each other again. I don't know. I, I can't help but think that's. Well, Orion's we'll also wishy washy as hell. Yeah, it's true. I was just so mad with Brennan last night. 
Brennan's the worst. Brennan is the worst. Brennan didn't text me, and he usually says bye to me even when I'm like sleeping and didn't. So I texted him like when he was coming home. Emily tonight. is one of my favorites at this point too. I don't know if some people are gonna be total assholes online about her, but her glasses are sick. And he's finding a way to find a, a reason for this to not work. Did you say she was acting crazy? He is such a he's he's gaslighting her. Yeah, he's the worst. I don't at like him. At this point, I don't want to throw it around, but. He's driving her. He's driving her crazy, and then blaming his action on her reaction. That is abuse. The past few weeks have been like very, very, very hard. He's breaking her down. This is so garbage, man. She's such a gem. I know, and he's putting her through hell. I swear it's because he made up this arbitrary rule that he's not going to get divorced. Yeah. So then he's forcing her into a position where she's going to divorce him. He's going to make it all her fault and say it was her decision. When he in tried, actuality, he tried. he's withholding everything from her. Yeah. He's putting her in a toxic situation and then and then saying that she's behaving inappropriately. It's a classic. It's a classic tactic. And I have a surprise for you. Hi. Hello. Is that his friend? Does his friend have yeah, babies? Yeah, that's okay. his friend. Oh, that's cute. They're doing a photo that's shoot cool. with the little babies. Oh, and then they're doing it all together and stuff. So she's the pro, even though he might be helping with it. Like, yeah. That's really cute. I love it when they involve each other in each other's so stuff. Nice. I just like them both so much. Sure. Oh my goodness. And the cutest subjects in the world. They are really cute. Oh. Oh, she's letting him take photos. Yes. Yeah. D E F G. She is really great with children. And she is great. Yeah. I am terrible with children. But she's a photographer. Part of that is being very personable. Because nobody wants a really awkward bird like photographer in the back. Give me a dog any day. I'll be best yeah. friends with that dog by the end. But give me a child, that child will hate me. She comes across as a legitimate child whisperer to me. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing these interactions, she just totally like blew me away. She's wow. Aww. Okay. So she's getting the friend, the friend stamp of approval. That's his thumb. <laughs> that little baby. <laughs> just... Hi, Claire. It's Dr. Pia. How are you? Oh, is this where they try and coerce Claire into going back to the relationship? <laughs> he has like some some health concerns going on right now. Oh no! So oh, I'm a jerk. It's about Cameron's wow. heart issues. They do it though. So yeah, I just feel sad that she's in this position, and I just I don't know. I just feel sad. She's a nice person. She is such a nice and she person. She really cares about him. That's like maybe it's caused him to have like these health concerns. And <laughs> it's unlikely it's isolated from that. But you know? stress does it can trigger. Stress stress triggers stuff. Yeah. For sure. I can't imagine that you are to cause any of this. No. It's that thing of like she didn't cause any of it, but like what you're saying, it could be a contributing factor. Oh, it's probably scary for her because of her brother. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't think about she's that. She's lost someone yeah. close to her. Like uh, an important male in her life. In and particular. she said something at the beginning about not having recognized everything he was going through yeah. and feeling like she didn't help enough, you know? Oh, now she's feeling Ooh, culpable. That's yeah, stressful. that's so. This is such a shitty situation, oh, it's obviously. Getting me all. Yeah. Oh. Cameron. I'm trying to get my heart rate down. I've developed a heart condition. I'm gonna need a, uh, a procedure done on my heart. That's wild. That is wild. Lily is on her way over, so it'll be good to have her opinion. Dump his ass. That's yeah, my for opinion. Real. Like, Emily, leave Brennan. And, and this is what I was saying before. It's that it, I wasn't expecting her to be this great in a relationship, honestly. But yeah. what one thing she's not gonna have experience with is knowing when to leave. Yeah, that's true. And I think at this point, he is such a dick. And then like, everyone's been telling her, like, oh, you don't know what the struggle looks like. You don't know how much work you're going to have to put in. So if anything, that sets her up with expectations that she should be working enough. really hard. Yeah. And doing everything she can possibly and do. she is. And she already is. And she just got matched with a, yeah. honestly, she got a shit match. Yep. Brenda's like, why are you talking to Lily? I'm like, I don't think you understand. This is so taxing. And, like, literally, like, even the other day, like, everything changes in a day. And Lily, in her head, could even be thinking that happens, when in reality she has no idea what no Emily's clue. going through. Because I don't think what she's going through with him is normal at all. I no. feel like what he's putting her through is garbage. It's garbage. And she shouldn't be putting up with that in a relationship. Yeah. It's not healthy at all. You think he's not showing up for her? He's just like, he's as he can, but it's like just not enough for you. I think it's, I know he has this in him. Yeah, because on the honeymoon he was fine. Yeah. 
And then he brought this like bullshit crap energy yeah. to like their actual relationship. He came to me with a solution. What's a solution? Uh, it's gonna be dumb. It is gonna be dumb. I was at my breaking point last night. And now he's at his breaking point. He's doing shady shit. He's I honestly a... feel like he's. I think he's seeing someone else. Yeah. The moment he got his phone back. Yeah. He's been weird as fuck. Yeah. That's not. I swear this is he's garbage. seeing someone else. He's or his feelings such... for someone else. Like something like that is going on. I swear it. All conjecture, obviously. But that's what I think. Because like, I know how he felt before. And I just don't believe him in all of this. Because I was like, it's something switched. And I think he like put a block or hurdle up. But if she starts pulling back, then it's going to be all her fault. Yes. Why the marriage didn't work. There's no way for Absolutely. And that's she... what he wants. Yeah. That's what he, he wants. He just wants to blame her for everything and take no accountability and run. I think you should use the time to like try to step back. And then the and then the the experts are going to come around and ask whether they're not working harder for the relationship. <laughs> I know. Like do you, and while watching these clips, yeah. like yeah, as if there's anything else she could do, which there's Emily not. Emily is an effing saint. And we keep going at the rate we're going. Like I can't keep doing this. Yeah. It's so weird that he's asking her to focus on being friends, too, when, like, they have been doing that. She has been doing They've that. They've been really good friends, actually. Yeah. That's when it's best is when they're laughing and hanging out right. and, like, like doing an activity. Right. They're worse when they have to talk about them. Yeah. Do you want to face that moment Dr. again? Bella. I would 100% do this again. My fellow experts. Experts. It's people they dragged off the street. Let's be honest. <laughs> she has a PhD. Okay. You know who else has a, has a he has a PhD? Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. Open the door or I'm going to throw rocks through your windows, you dumb whore. But after we spent more time with Michael, he opened up to us about what he truly wants in a spouse. Somebody they'll say yes. I can't believe we're I can't believe we're meeting a new couple this far in. We're halfway through this season and they have no one to follow, so they're adding a new couple. I know. It's nuts. And they're doing this extra film session behind the scenes, trying to act right. like they, this isn't just like a throw together thing. I'm the person that just wants to love and be loved. Well, this is boring. I don't care about this person. What's her name again? Chloe? It's hard for me to care because it's just like, I'm, I'm happy for him if it works out, but like at this point it feels just too much like the show needs more, more, more to happen. Yeah, because they got multiple couples that are heading for the, running for the hills, you know? This this season is just... And we know Emily down. and Brennan aren't making it. No. Even if they both say yes on decision they day... They won't. Are you kidding me? But he, like, I think that he, he could possibly say yes because he refuses to get divorced. And then she would say yes because she feels like, ooh, that's a, a grain of hope Yeah. that we might make it. You know? Or he says yes, hoping she says no at the end. Well, he, that's he did what, everything yes, he could. Yeah, I agree. Exactly. I hope. I think he hopes she says no. Yeah. But what if she doesn't get yeah. that and she just thinks she has to work harder? So toxic. I have an opportunity to do something I've never imagined in my life doing. She seems so serious for Michael. Like, does this seem like a good match to you? But it's like serious right here. And then like, how are they when they're hanging out? I don't know. I don't see it. Maybe he said wrong. he wanted a silly person. She I might just be silly. cranky, but I just really don't see it. I feel you like they just picked somebody. Yeah. I don't trust it at all. She's the runner-up. She was yeah. just the next in line. She's the next in line, <laughs> exactly. And she's willing to hop into the show at the last minute yeah. with someone that she knows she wasn't initially matched with. You know, how many people are willing to do that? How many matches do you have in the system? Right. I mean, I know they get like maybe nine to 15,000 applicants or something. I'm saying that's probably on a high number. Yeah. But like how many of those people are perfect right. marriage matches? Yeah. Uh, Pepper Schwartz is coming. <laughs> Dr. Pepper Schwartz no, to you. Okay. And to all of us. Isn't it weird how like doctors, you have to call them doctor, but like anybody else that like it's Pepper earns- Schwartz. You have people that this. earn degrees that are that you're not, take just as long. You're not master, master <laughs> right, Ashley. Exactly. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. Or like you don't call me like CPA Ashley. CPA Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Certified personal Ashley. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> you're my personal Ashley. <laughs> I, am, I am your certified personal Ashley. <laughs> right. I am what I consider a recovering perfectionist. I like her calling himself a recovering perfectionist because it means that she knows what she is. Self-identification yeah. is important, even if she has struggles with it. Yeah. And perfectionism 
has been described by some as a trauma response. It's yeah. not it's not a positive attribute. Yeah. It's uh like a coping mechanism. Yeah. She so seems great. That she knows that that's something that needs to be like addressed is pretty good. I like her. I just don't know if I see her with Michael. You, you see her with a hipster? Like the hipster of all hipsters? I was working obscene hours and I realized that with every single passing moment, I was working myself to So are some of these clips like out of season? Is this like the, um, do they, anybody who might be an, an option, do they take footage of? Oh, maybe. Like in the fall or something? Maybe they like narrow them down and take a bunch yeah. of footage. Cause yeah, it doesn't, there's no snow. And she's outside in a short sleeve t-shirt. Which even makes it feel even more like she was a runner up to get on the show more than she was a perfect match. Am I wrong? This is weird. Uh, I don't know, dude. I like her, I don't like the, the what the like show's this. doing. Yeah. I'm more ready for marriage than I've ever been. I am excited about what I have to offer. She's she's pretty and all, she, she's dressing well, but she's a very say? basic yeah. um, clothing choices compared to him. And I'm not saying that's a problem and they might still get along well. She's very conservative. She doesn't seem as weird as him for sure. Yeah. She seems very traditional and like yeah. normal. And he is like out there. All of her friends look pretty like they almost look business casual all the right? time. Do you know like, what I mean? This is like after work. And yeah, all going she's to get still business casual, just constantly. Yeah, you're right. She's business or business. And casual. that is going to be weird because Michael dressed like an artist. Yeah, he's all for it, and I believe he is completely committed to this process. Oh, he is. I mean, he came back again. Is this entire episode gonna be about this lady we don't know? They gotta wed, wed them soon because we gotta see what their relationship is before the season's over. Also, are they gonna continue the season and it'll just be them then? Or are they gonna keep following some of the old couples? Like, yeah. what, what's it, gonna what's go the overlap? on here? Like, they only get four weeks? I don't understand. Well, and those other people, they only have 25 days left. And the other people, and the Michael and Claire, Claire? Chloe? What's her name? Something. The new one is Chloe. Chloe. Michael and Chloe aren't even married yet. Yeah. The other couples only have 25 days until decision day. And so they got two weeks before they even get married, and then. At I don't some know. point, is this going to be the Michael and Chloe show? Almost killed them. All right. Look at how much space you guys have. <laughs> Looks like corn down there. So it does look like corn. Becca and I. It's a spell the fish tank with corn. <laughs> Well, the fish got something to eat until it starts going bad and they all die. <laughs> That's a horror story. Yeah. See you. Good to see but you look gorgeous. Thank you. This Dr. Pepper visit is... <laughs> Every time I say Dr. Pepper, Please, I think I... of like a can opening. Why can't they call her Dr. Schwartz? <laughs> That's what most people do. She goes for... She does this on purpose. She thinks it's hilarious. It's It sticks, too. It's like Dr. Yeah, Phil. Why do they call him Dr. That's Phil? True. You know, it sticks. I'm telling you, she is it's like marketing. she is a Dr. Phil over here. This, yeah, it's this, marketing. Oh. It makes sense. Wait until she has her own talk show. Dr. Pepper v. Dr. Phil. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Would you H watch match. it? Yeah. <laughs> they psychoanalyze each other, even though neither of them have. <laughs> I'm rooting for Pepper. I would root for Pepper. I don't like her, but I would root for Pepper. I like Phil less. <laughs> you just reset and try something fresh, and just take the pressure off and just enjoy each other and could you define reset for me good question um, I'm, I'm coaching I'm judging her right now so we'll see we already know he's an asshole just making sure that we're not crossing boundaries and we're establishing those and respecting each other's boundaries what does that even mean what boundaries has she not respected he thinks that she was too mean to him in the car when he is an absolute piece of shit every day she's been so nice and patient with yeah. him no it'll be good for us to do that so just respecting that um and not like making it seem like it's a big deal or anything he wants to get away with murder and take all the pressure off and do something completely different and then he's i hate it when people do this he's like veiling these unrealistic demands as boundaries. Yes. And then she has to accept it. Otherwise she's violating his boundaries. Right. I think like with some less pressure, that'll be our best opportunity for us to like say we tried everything and- She's framing it okay. She's almost like, then we've tried everything. And I don't think she wants to do this. I think she almost understands, but like, you know. She's right. At least they will have tried everything. She's tried it his way, and she can't yeah. be accused of not being yeah, cooperative. Yeah, that's true. So, that's true. Honestly, I don't know. I feel so bad for her. Me too. We don't want to give up. 
This was not fair to her. No. Because they probably could have found someone that would have treated her amazing. Mm-hmm. Because she's really great. She is. It's just fun and funny and cute. It's like we just want to be in each other's lives. He doesn't want her in no, his life. No, he doesn't. It's never gonna, he's never gonna allow it. He's not open to it. About what you really like about each other. Give me five things that <laughs> as he Do- sighs. Dr. Pepper's <laughs> like, like ideally this is an actual marriage because that's the whole point of the show. Right. He can't think. What do you like about her? Oh my god. I could list more things than he can. This I don't is know this lady. Messed up, dude. Um, and I think we just have a lot of fun together. So I appreciate her for all those things. You are caring, loyal, smart. He's not loyal to who? Himself. He, I feel like half of those were digs. He is not trustworthy in my no. book. He is not no. caring. He's an no. asshole. He might be smart. Don't know. Haven't seen it. Um, I haven't seen it either. He doesn't seem to be loyal. Seems like a dud. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's a milk dud. He's not even covered in chocolate. He's just a little. He's the dud. He's a shriveled up piece of caramel. Without the milk. Yeah. So what is it about each other that creates the strong emotional connection? Dr. Pepper's trying so hard. Yeah, because she's, she's actually like, I don't see it, but you're telling me, so. There's an episode before this where I was really mad at her, but like. She's doing her best. She's trying. She, but she's framing it a lot in questions rather than yeah. telling people how they should feel or whatever. Yeah. They're not giving her much to work with. They're not giving her much to work with. And Emily is like, and maybe this is the lack of experience in relationships, but she seems to think that some of this stuff is more fine than it is. Yeah. Her blowing up in the car was completely reasonable. Yeah, frankly. but of course someone that's putting her in unreasonable circumstances and expecting her to behave a certain way is going to think that it's unreasonable. Yeah. Him because, being held accountable is unreasonable to yeah, him. Yeah, any level of accountability, any level of pressure is unreasonable yeah. to him. I think part of what you should do is a fishbowl. You put a lot of questions in the fishbowl. I was wondering if they're going to get actual fish like Becca and Austin. <laughs> I think tonight went as well as it could. As good as it could. We are at the end of this, and hopefully we are able to get romantic, stay married. Emily. He feels great because he's getting... He's he's allowed to pull away. I think these are That's what he feels great about. Getting off the hook. Yep. She keeps on holding on to what she thought she had during the honeymoon. I know. And she doesn't have that relationship. It's a mirage. He needs to still be vulnerable, and he still needs to be open. And the best he gives her is like a three quarters smile. It's sad. Yeah. I hate that because she's clearly putting her all into it, and he is not. I actually hope they get broken up sooner than later because I don't want to watch multiple episodes of them of her just like going through this torture. I know. It feels like gross to me. It feels it like does. voyeuristic. Like yeah. when, when when it's like a quick flash and they're done, I'm like, okay, fine. Right. When they're having fun, it's great. Yeah. If it's this drawn out pain, I hate that. Yeah. It's frustrating. And then despite the fact that all these experts are watching all of mm-hmm. this, so they have all the context that they need, there's no one that's really like confronting mm, him for yeah. his behavior, yeah. which is really frustrating because he's breaking her confidence down. Absolutely. Hey, I'm Toby. I'm Chloe. Nice I'm the bride. I hope they get like exit therapy at the end of this. They never do that. They never do. They should. <laughs> they should. For how much they pretend to like take care of them during the show, they need to have somebody like helping them leave the process. Very nervous about finding the right dress, but I'm also really excited is calling out. I, I, I'm having a hard time caring. I hope, they, I hope they're great, but I'm like, we've already done this. This would be a really isolating experience because only a handful of people have ever done this. Yeah. So no one would really understand what you've it's, been through. It's not even the same as be having an arranged marriage. No. Because you're doing an arranged marriage TV game show, basically. Like yeah. You can call it a, a, an experiment all you want. It's practically a game show it at this is. point. It is, yeah. So they don't win anything at the end except for heartbreak and like... <laughs> I heard mild internet fame. I heard they get paid like a thousand dollars a week or something, oh. which just for what the show makes yeah. doesn't seem like enough to me because yeah. they're working their regular jobs on top of it. They're filming constantly. Like how much is that how per many, hour? Yeah, it's you know probably, what I mean. It's less than minimum wage, right? For way, sure, way less. I'm sure. I don't know how they justify that. Yeah, that's true. It's an internship. And they probably promised them, they're like, oh, but afterwards, you'll be famous on Instagram. Yeah. So that's really where you'll get your money. So you can sell, like, vitamins. (laughs) Weight loss supplements. Yeah. I'm on (laughs) Ozempic. 
Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Me oh. too. Wow, here she comes. I hope he likes pink. Here she comes okay. to save the day. I mean, save the show, really. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can't believe that in just a few short days, I'm going to be a wife. Are you I getting a honeymoon? <laughs> I can't believe they're putting her through this alone. Like, the yeah, other ones always yeah, can call the yeah. other, like, wives, and they know them. And she's not going to know anyone. She's not going to have anybody to yeah, connect with. It's messed up, actually. And then when they are married... She she's gonna be again alone. Yeah. Like there, even if right. she were able to talk to the other people at that point, her experience is different. She's a yeah. month behind. Yeah. Maybe a month and a half. I don't right. know. Right. And she's gonna still be in the throes of trying to be married yeah. to this like weird hipster dude. Yeah. Family is really important to me, and getting the stamp of approval from my parents on backup is important. You know the thing with Suzanne, even when she's having a good time, she doesn't smile with her mouth. She smiles more with her eyes, and then she does like a frown smile. It's like... Yeah, that's me too, that's, though. That's allowed. I can't smile up. <laughs> <laughs> and I look crazy when I do it. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I understand her plight, you know? <laughs> Watch. It's <laughs> the best I can do. Love I love you, that. You love me oh, some you do? I do. Suzanne's mm -hmm. favorite is lamb. lamb. My baba actually mm -hmm. makes really good lamb chops. His mom is actually being nice to her now. Yeah, I think I think she didn't like the process and all of this, and she didn't trust it. But I think she likes Becca. They're they're gonna stay together. Look at this. Becca and Suzanne are like they're getting along, hitting it off. Suzanne wanted to hate her so bad. Yeah, but Becca's she too likable. She couldn't. She couldn't. Couldn't do it. Hope to get to know you better. Well, yeah. It's great to have yeah. in-laws that are yeah. as sweet and kind and supportive. Yeah. Thrilled. Oh, they're oh, thrilled. I believe it. I believe it. Even though I need time for myself to reset and take some space, I am also not giving up hope on this marriage. Don't drop the They're gonna end up in a fight, aren't they? Absolutely. <laughs> There's no way Brennan doesn't do something shitty. My dad, I feel like I actually have a lot of resentment issues against him for like pushing me as hard as he did growing up. Definitely with sports and like other stuff. <laughs> They're making a mess with that paper. Look how nasty that is. You know, in this part of my life, I'm really just focused on my happiness. Nobody doubts that, Brennan. <laughs> I think it's just like, when are we giving up on something? Or maybe one of you giving up on something or someone. <laughs> She's like, like someone me. that might be here in the hot tub. I don't have one for that. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, the yeah. hell you don't, Brennan. I haven't told you, which would give you much more insight into who I am. She's gonna pass on that. Too. <sighs> She's gonna say Ooh. nothing. She's like, please. Oh, maybe we can come back to that one. God damn it, Brennan. Why? I'm actually a giant asshole. <laughs> Why do we bother with him, honestly? Putting it on camera, I don't think it does anyone any good, so I only want the good to show. <sighs> and has there he, he says it. Has he seen the show before? And has he seen himself on the show? Obviously right. he hasn't, because he's not only letting the good show. No. He thinks that by withholding tr true statements that he's making either them look better or protecting other people or something, it's honestly just making them kind of look like an asshole. It's making him look like he's more concerned with image than reality. Yes. And I and I don't trust people like that. Me neither. No one too many of them. I'm losing consciousness. We were in here for two hours the other night. We'll survive. She's getting sick of his bullshit. She's not helping the situation, but I, again, I can't really blame her. She's tired. She's sick of his shit. She's so tired. He's pushed too much. By you choice. You know why you can't Purposely. last too long in a sauna? We're doing for Is your feet? Oh. <laughs> She's just really irritated. She's so fed up. They really, yeah, they shouldn't be continuing to do this. Asking the questions at this point is not producing anything good. And I understand why, where she's like, you're not trying, this is bullshit, but he's not going to try and she's just getting mad. And yeah. it's like, where does it go from there? You know? No, we're good. It's all about him and his appearance and it's never about me. I don't need you to agree with me. I need you to have my back. And you really don't understand the difference. And she has his back all the time. I think she's tired of having his back. 
understanding everything, always being the bigger person. Yeah. We're Team Emily, still, even after still all that. Still Team Emily. Read at first sight. Good try. Good try. Good try. While Michael's bride-to-be goes into wedding mode. Here we are. I don't oh. understand. This show is weird. I'm getting whiplash going back and forth between one yeah. of them getting married and then the other one's like yeah. breaking up and fighting. I feel like I'm in these relationships. Like, <laughs> what's happening? All right. Stay tuned for another one of the husbands slut shaming somebody. I oh, suspect. Oh, you think he's going to say he doesn't trust her because she's had she's a party too girl many stuff. like partners or something? Something like that. I think he's going to be a body count asshole. I think he doesn't trust her because he's doing untrustworthy things. Oh, yes. It could be both. It could be both. It could be both. Could or be he could use the one as an excuse for the fact that he's doing the other. Absolutely. It's um, all, this is all speculation, too. It's Who all knows? speculation. He's, we he, don't know. He's an asshole or a shitty person for in some way. I can't, like, I don't, I do not think that this is just him being, having a hard time opening up in a relationship. Also, the way that he's hurting her by not participating at all. Yeah. I mean, you went on the show, bud. Like, you signed up, you You're, know? Yeah. And you got a good partner. It's not he like. Got a good, like, all the guys got a good partner. Yeah. It's not like he's with someone that um, is screaming at him or. Mm -hmm emotionally abusive or financially controlling or something like that. I mean, he's with someone that seems to genuinely care about him yeah. and be a pretty good person. And he is just, ooh, he's dropping the ball. I, you saying that makes me think, like, he isn't the worst we've seen. Like, no. But he is, he is, he's not responsible for the way people feel. I, I love that there's that idea, like, I can't control the way you feel thing. But he is responsible for the way he's treating her. Yeah. He is responsible for the way he's acting around her, and that has ramifications. So, like, like she could feel a million different ways in this, but, like, he's harming her, and he won't take any accountability for that, and it sucks to watch. It and is, like, mm. You have, like cause and effect too like he's being emotionally neglectful he's yeah. purposefully holding things back that he knows that's hurting her and he's doing it anyway and that's causing her to have emotional problems mm -hmm. so it's not like you can't absolve yourself from yeah you can't control how someone else feels but at the same time he knows what he's doing is hurting her she says it all the time. And he's right. like, I care about you. I'm going to protect you from my own thoughts and feelings. Like, Which is ridiculous. You're not protecting somebody by not telling them how you feel about them when you're in a committed relationship. He's protecting himself. He's protecting himself he's and his image. his image. He says it. Yeah. He doesn't want anybody to look bad, meaning he doesn't want to look bad. Yes. Because he's a dick. And he thinks, here's why Here's why I think it's that he he's he's uh, he's going to slut shame her. Yeah. It's, it's because he thinks he's protecting her. By not saying those things on TV. Yeah. That's where I think that is. And and regardless of whether or not he's he's being a dog in the background too, like um like you know, he he ha excuse that away anyway, like I don't know. Spicy. Kind of boring, but also kind of really frustrating. Like this so show is getting kind of like like hard I'm to watch. And then point. and then the Michael Whiplash thing, like How? I'm happy. I hope it works out. I'm happy for him. This show makes me mad that they're like there's a reason the why they have the structure of following people at the same time, getting married at the same time. It doesn't feel great. It feels disjointed to watch somebody else get married mid-season. One person alone in that. It'd yeah. almost be better if they had multiples that were getting yeah. married and then they had multiples that yeah. were going through the marriage. But instead, we have these people on an island. It's like... They could at least do two. They just pull up right. two other people that sure. were the runner-up runner-ups yeah. and, and stop filming like... Like, some of the people we don't need to see at this point. And they you know? can just give us know. short updates on, like, Cameron's health situation yeah. or something. They don't have to keep filming Claire and Cameron. It doesn't make any sense. This whole season is jacked. It's it is jacked. It is, a, it is monumental for the show in a way, and it's the way of how big they mess it up. Yeah. And they can blame it on these people all they want, but, you know. I just don't understand why they continue doing this show. I really don't. Yeah. I don't get it. And pretending that it's, like, a good way to meet somebody. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> and at this point, you don't even have good TV on, yeah. on this season. Yeah. Because at least in seasons past, you had drama that was, like, good for TV, now I, I don't. Feel bad I don't know. For so many people. Honestly. Yeah, I feel yeah. sad. I get done with this, and I'm like, why am I watching people get tortured? Right, and then I'm not excited to see another wedding. I just watched a bunch of weddings. I don't want to watch another wedding. <laughs> we don't like weddings. How many? <laughs> how many ways we gotta say it? 
<laughs> I put yeah. up with it in the beginning because they're yeah. seeing each other for the first time and yeah. it's cute and they do it for everybody. But I don't want to watch these randos get married to each other. Do you think? Do you think Michael's going to wear the crown and bring the sword? No. <laughs> It'd be inappropriate because it's from another person. But that was sweet. He got a sword. You think it's hanging on his wall? Yeah. Sure and he is. was like, he was like, it's mine. I'm keeping, keeping it. it. Yeah. And that was as cool as he how, should. As he should. How do you feel? Yeah, do you like that? What's going on, honestly? Are do you we, like this show? Are we haters? What's the vibe that we bring compared to, like, your vibe or you think other... I don't. I haven't watched anybody other's, like, um, ideas or reactions to the show yeah. or breakdowns. Like, are we unhinged? On, what's going on with Brennan? What's going on with him? Yeah, what's going on? Do you like, think he's cheating? We've do you got think he's two about ideas. to slut shame her? Like, what do you think is happening? Do you have a third idea? Do you feel bad for him? I feel bad for him not in the relationship. I think that he's probably... I think his parents really did a number on him. Uh, a lot of parents do, but like you can see directly, he talks about, he hints at it at least. I do not feel bad for him in this relationship. I think he is such a jerk. All right. All if right, he whatever. likes this, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Subscribe if, if you want to keep watching stuff like this with us. Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna keep doing this for a minute. If people really don't even like it, maybe we'll move on. But we'll we try might. it out. We'll try it out. We're also gonna do Bachelor and uh, Yeah, stay Love tuned. is Blind for sure. <sighs> yes. That's going to be... Very excited for that. that stuff. Okay. Anyway. All thank right. you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, then I got it not. Oh. And I started going... Ah. Ridiculous. Oh, that was a tearjerker. Hey, we're going to go on a cruise this summer. You should come with us.